this cross here above the church lit at night. Um, unfortunately, the lights we've been using, oh, wind noise, wind noise, uh, the lights we've been using have only lasted about six months when they're supposed to be, the LEDs, you're supposed to get uh, sort of about 100,000 hours out of them, we're only getting 1,200. So, we are here, I've managed to uh, get a truck with a high amp, and my son is going to go up there because that is where I like my feet. And my son's going to go up there and change the rope light set up there and we'll be broadcasting again. These lights are seen by at least a third of Timaru at night, they're lit up, and uh, we have lowered it a little bit, probably by about the, the actual height of the cross itself there, which is uh, which 10 metres all the way around, so it's probably somewhere in the vicinity of about 6 uh, Yeah, we've got, we've got uh, what, 2, 4, about 4 metres high, and uh, so this is a new high amp that this has got. I haven't had it for a while now, but he locks up, picks up the cradle, and we'll shoot him up. So uh, we'll watch and see how things go. Marvellous how these hydraulics work, but you know. What he does, he'll pick that cage up, then he will sort of turn the, um, the high air around and point it towards the top of the cross and then just zoom it out. He's got a different cage this time. Last time he had one that actually locked into the end of the, of the uh, boom. That's the uh, new rope lights that's going to go up. Yeah, I've had it going so it's straightened out a wee bit because it was coiled. It's going to here and then we've got about um, 20 metres of lead in there which will go inside to the power point through an RCD unit for safety. Very disappointed in those old lights, only lasted six months as I said, but and the supplier is not interested in credits or anything like that. It takes about half an hour to do the job, but uh, of course set up and pack up is a wee bit longer than that. It's a long way up. I can't quite remember the height, but it's a 20 metre lead in for, for the um, power supply which goes to the bottom of the cross just above the guy wires there. There to the power point's 20 metres. 10 metres around the cross. So we have 10 metres of lighted rope and uh, that type of rope there. see them but high over there is the Hunter Hills at the back of Timaru. 
I'm only on the roof of the church and I get a great view from up here. Selwyn Street. Okay, down again. Croft over there, the rest home. St. Day Peter's, I think it is, uh, Presbyterian yep. Church, which there. has just been sold, damaged in the earthquakes, 2011, most likely to be demolished. Just over those, yep. roof of those houses, in the distance there somewhere. I'll zoom out and have a look. Look at that tiled roof one. That's Mount Horrible there in the distance, which is an extinct volcano. Timaru is built on the lava flows, which went down this way, down to the Pacific Ocean, out there.